Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. Tomorrow, today, we are working on dynamically balancing a prop. So the first thing we had to do was reposition the prop. The prop on this Tiger was originally over here at top dead center blade number one, which is perfect if you've got an AG5B, but this is an Alpha Alpha 5 Bravo. It goes over here at the number one blade pointing up at about the 11 o'clock. So you've got a half chance of trying to hand prop this thing if you ever need to. The second thing we've done is we've already bolted on the accelerometer. We got to put we got to put some tape on the back of the prop, the reflective tape. We've got to finish running the wiring on into the cockpit and then we will be ready to do two or three runs to dial in the uh, prop balance on this aircraft. So stay tuned for more. So we're moving along. We now have the tape on the back of the propeller, the accelerometer which sees the tape, the control units in the aircraft. The owner wanted me to point out that yes, we did put safety wiring on all the bolts, so that's all done. And uh, we've made our first run. We got a reading of 0 0.24 inches per second at 322 degrees. So that means this blade is blade is zero. So 322 degrees around will be about right to 70, about right here. But we want that's telling us where the heavy spot is. So we're going to be adding the weight to this side, 180 degrees away from where the, the meter reads the heavy plate. We're going to be adding weight. Now at 0.24, we multiply that by engine horsepower with a constant, and we're going to have that number, and we're going to put a weight on in just a minute. So stand by for more. Okay, so here we have the tape. Now remember, our, our, our acceleration was 0.24 inches per second at 322. The reciprocal of 322 is 142. And the closest hole we have in the fire wheel is 150. So taking 0.24 times in the formula for the engine horsepower, we wound up with 12 grams of weight, which we've done right here. It's a number four bolt, A and 4-7, lightweight uh, nut, nylock, and two of the four uh, 096, uh, AN 960 416 washers. So now we've got it balanced on the first weight. Now we're going to do it again and see where we are and then finally zero in on the third turn. So stand by for more. Okay, so when we started off on this balance, we started out at 0.24 inches per second of acceleration. We added the first 12 grams of weight. We got it down to 0 0.12 at the same station, 322. We added six more grams to where the existing weight was at 150 and brought it down to 0 0.07. This is in the excellent range of vibration. It was 0 0.07 at 287 which means we've moved off the mark and on this engine we're not going to chase it down any further than that it's still perfectly smooth so that's a little brief synopsis of how you go about dynamic prop balancing you leave the tape on the propeller and we'll make a notation for the log books and hopefully when people work on the airplane they'll see the balance weight in the tape and they'll leave the prop and the weighting alone thank you for watching Grumman Pilots YouTube channel we hope you found this video informative